The shortage of police officers in Aurora is well known. So is the fact that the city is trying to diversify its police force. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows what the police department is doing now to address both of these challenges. When Abdul Sadi immigrated to the United States with his family in 1981, he knew just a handful of English words. Today, he's on the front lines, helping the Aurora Police Department deal with one of its biggest challenges, a police officer shortage. I think the challenge is nationwide, so it's not just only for APD. I think it's nationwide that we're feeling the challenges. Since the beginning of this year, APD has lost 57 officers. That includes 23 due to retirement. The department has only been able to replace 38 of those 57 officers. As a recruiter, the shortage makes Officer Sadie's job that more important, which is why he spends a lot of time in the community. Yeah, we're heavily involved in community events, not only in the city of Aurora, but in Denver and other places within the metro area. We try to get out, try to get to the community and try to find folks to come join our ranks. Now, APD makes a point to attend community events like Global Fest here, which helps them increase their potential pool of candidates from underrepresented communities. Creating a more diverse force is one of the goals outlined in the department's new recruitment plan. Since 2021, Aurora has been under a consent decree following an investigation by the attorney general's office that found the department had a pattern in practice of racially biased policing and using excessive force. The consent decree required the department to create a recruitment plan outlining how it will attract and retain officers from underrepresented groups, including people of color and women. It's a reflection of our community, and I think for us to be a reflection of our community, we need to have a workforce that looks like one. Officer Sadie says he is living proof that the doors of APD are open for anyone who wants to serve in Aurora. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Thank you, Brandon. And Aurora is also taking steps in a different direction to try to get more officers on the force. Earlier this month, City Council voted on part of a proposal to reinstate its reserve police force. This would address the department's police officer shortage by recruiting volunteers. Now, some people opposed to this idea say more community input is needed. This ordinance really doesn't have the substance that's going to give the citizens of Aurora the confidence that we need a, a reserve police force. You want to hire uh, volunteer police uh, uh, police personnel to protect our city when we don't even have when our paid police uh, department still f***s up to this day. Strong words, and interim police chief Art Acevedo spoke to those concerns, saying this program would be measured and focused. It's going to be a program that's going to give a lot to our community, uh, uh, but it's going to be a program that I think eventually will, will save lives. Now, once the proposal gets final approval, those in the reserve force will be required to undergo peace officer training and certification, and that includes training to carry a firearm.